Welcome back everybody. Another double header here at NHDA. After yesterday, Saturday, we had the double header. Now another one here on Sunday. Got coach with me here. Um, they came away with the victory, 55 to 50. So impressive victory for the Lynx. Much needed after falling to one and three yesterday. Now two and three, a little bit more manageable. So coach, what are your thoughts so far on the season and the game today? Uh, so we've definitely had a big struggle with getting numbers and girls to come play. Um, we did end up having to push our season out a couple weeks just so we could wait for soccer to be over. Um, I think today we was the best game we've played so far. Uh, we played as a team, we played together, we threw a defense in that we hadn't played before. Um, I'm just really proud of the girls. That I think well, going into the game we talked about we have to play as a team and we cannot get frustrated you know, we get tired, we have girls that play 40 minutes and not come out, we just have to stay together, and I think that's what I'm most proud of today. Yeah, something that I observed is in the first half, I think it was like the same five group of girls the whole first half. You didn't use the bench at all during the first half. What was that strategy, and why'd you decide to go there? So that's our strategy. <laughs> um, just, I have, you know, five girls that say, keep me in and don't sub me out until I can come out. As you know, we only have three subs, Maggie's hurt, so we only have two subs. Um, some of those, and those girls are still kind of learning the game of basketball. So I put them in in emergency situations. Um, but they, the girls that played the, that first quarter and never came out, they know that if they need a sub, they come out. My strategy: I take time out halfway through the quarter so that they get a good rest. Mm -hmm. So with the health of your team overall, we saw the injury to Maggie yesterday. She got hurt initially, came back in the game, and I think she hurt her other leg, right? Yeah. So how's she doing? How's the team overall doing injury-wise? Um, injury-wise, we're fine. I mean, we were sick for a couple weeks, and Maggie's our only injured player. Uh, well, Lexi, she's injured, but she keeps playing. She's one that I have to keep an eye on. If she needs to come out, she tells me. Um, I don't It's. I don't know, it's tough. I think today they knew Maggie was out, so they kind of all came together as a group and worked as hard as they could knowing that Maggie is one of our girls that doesn't come out of the game, so they worked together. And that's where like the timeout strategy came from today, knowing I didn't have a one sub to go in and out. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of a later start than Coach Harris's team, obviously, makes a big difference. So you guys have four left, whereas they only have one left yeah. for the break. So you have players that could get tied. How are you going to manage this next week with all these four games and you know you have the injury to Maggie and you're having a lot of your starters play a lot of minutes? So the good thing is is that when we do have practice we don't have 10 girls to scrimmage against each other so our practices are lighter so I you know we have tomorrow off because seven games I think it was seven games in a 10-day stretch or something like that so we do have lighter practices knowing that we have all our energy has to go into our games. And we have two, the first two games we have coming up are gonna be the toughest. Um, so we're just, we take, we do lighter things at practice, more shooting, walkthroughs, nothing like too intense. Okay, so when do you expect Maggie to return? Um, <laughs> uh, she said today, and I said no. <laughs> um, she, I'm hoping either like, if not Thursday, then definitely for the Saturday, Sunday games. Mm -hmm. What players do you think played the best today and just have been doing well and making progress over the season? Um, I it w am very impressed with Emma Broadstone's defense. Um, she was our box and one player, so she did not leave that the one girl the whole time. I'm impressed with our foul shooting. Um, we've kind of been in the low percentage for foul shooting the past couple games, so I think they all came together today and worked really hard on making those foul shots, and some of them were big foul shots at the end, which was good. Um, Janessa really kind of took over. Lexi, took, they all just, it's all a combined thing. Like, Janessa took over and kind of leaded them in the last minute to what we needed to do. Lexi brings the ball up the court most of the time. Like, you know, and Kayla with the fighting for the rebounds, and, and they just all worked very well together, together today as a team. What are you most looking forward to um, towards the season as it progresses? Just watching your team get better or any specific games? Yeah, I think, you know, I can't wait to play Great Bay again because I don't think that was our best game. Um, I just look forward to this team becoming more cohesive together and working together because we haven't had that. I, You know, we have everyone has a different personality and everybody is at a different skill level. So I think bringing it all together 
Hello? is my thing I'm looking forward to. All right. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate your You're time. You're welcome. Thank you.